Welcome to Laps and Sarps. I'm joined by Alex, Chloe, Morgan, and just 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 those three. Just me. Just, just, just us me. four. Yeah, just me and those three. It's a lovely. No one else. A lovely, a lovely, a lovely introduction of just the four hosts of Laps and Sarps. Yes. The best hosts. <laughs> Top four of all time. <laughs> four of the hosts of all time. Four of the hosts of Laps and Sarps. <laughs> Top four. Uh, I'm kidding. Tom is here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and today we're talking about Prelap. Prelap! Who's excited to get on the field this weekend? Nah, not really. Yeah. Last time we were doing a Prelap, I was like, why am I not excited? What's going on? This yeah. is weird. That's not happened this time. No, I'm really I'm, excited. I'm giddy. This time. I'm I, am, I am the hyped. most hyped that I've been is, in at least a year, I swear. Mm. <laughs> is it because there's no weather warnings yeah. or rain? I, for me personally, I think it's because the weather looks actually ideal this weekend. It's like 20 degrees and dry. Yeah. I just feel like it's been enough time between events before. This was the <laughs> shortest break, Claude. Yeah. yeah. But between. No, I mean, like. I'm like, oh, it, well, it feels longer. But yeah. Between E1 and E2, it felt like it was like the long dark. So I was like, mm. oh, it feels so long since we've been at Empire. Like, oh, sure. I just can't be bothered. But now I'm because like... Because we had hoist in the middle. It's that's like true. plugged up the gap a bit. Yeah. momentum. Yeah. Yeah. All my white goods are healthy, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. We're all right. <laughs> all right, yeah. that's it. You've reached a speaking limit for the episode now, Tom. Okay, good. Yeah, Tom, you've exceeded your <laughs> word <cut> count. <laughs> oh. Um, every Labs and Tops cast member has a, a word count. <laughs> Tom Tom's has the smallest word count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, it, you, you, that's why Tom speaks so loudly because he's getting the most out of every yeah, word. He's like, you must at least hear every single word uh, that I say. So, summer is here. It is the summer of 386YE? Three, um, I three, have eight, no five? idea. I, don't know. Nerd shit. I think it's 385. Three, three, no, <laughs> I was right the first time. 386YE. You should have guessed that guess yourself. Yeah, because, I shouldn't. I don't really have any concept for the year system. I see the numbers and I don't really read them. I just go, that's a year. That's one of the years of uh, all time. I, I know a lot of people who played <laughs> since before COVID were stuck in the idea that it was 383 because it had been 383 for. Do a lot of people three really years. pay attention to what year it is in character? Well, I just know. Well, why? <laughs> What do you mean? I just, I just, it's I, just something it's not I'm aware something that I've ever, has ever occurred to me to think about. I guess it's because I'm always reading the wins. Oh, yeah. It says at the top, Winds of Fortune 386. And also, I yeah. sometimes date my letters. As Again, well. I feel like I just like smooth past that bit. Like, what? I don't actually read that number. <laughs> what does the YE stand for? Oh, for like Year Empire or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. No, no, because it's like years since the Empire was founded. So yeah. it is like years, oh, okay. years since Empire or years of Empire. Yeah, the fact that there is a numerical. System for the year, as with most. How much imperial history do you know? None. Like you're asking Tara. Chloe specifically. Tara, you look directly Chloe. at Chloe about. We're directly at Chloe. Do you know your imperial? Not history? that anyone else in this room would. Maybe Tom, but he's past his word limit. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna cut his mic from now. What do you know of? The oh, well, I just know. Well, right, okay, three hundred eighty-six years ago, the first empress, whose name is known but not public. um what? Founded the empire, <laughs> so like on the field we know what her name is, but it's not on the wiki, so it's find out oh. and play information. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. yeah. What is it? Oh. I don't know. Oh, um, I just find know out and play. Ask, yeah. ask Bessner; she might know. Yeah, maybe. So, what plans has everybody got for this event? Does anyone have plans? Given the fact that Winds of Fortune came out approximately twenty minutes before time in, does anyone have any plans or ideas of what they're doing? I am thinking. Of, I've taken the battle mage skill and fuck yes. Some, some stuff like that. So I might finally actually take the battlefield yes. in character. Yes, and so, you're going to die. <laughs> I'm going to be very far away from the fighting and be stood at the back. If I can find a wand or a rod somewhere, either borrowing or finding something really cheap on Trader's Row. I knew maybe. a mage who was meant to be staying um, far away from the front line. His name was, what was it? That Gela Ashborn kind of guy? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really famous, famous battlefield tourist Gela Ashbourne. Yeah, might have got eaten yeah. by a shark or two. Yeah, yeah but that wasn't... His first time out on the battlefield. No, so it could yeah, be so right. as we all know, so experience makes knowledge. you worse at fighting. So <laughs> he should know what he was. Hey, doing. I'm not fighting. I'm hiding behind the fighters and healing them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's what Nia thought last time, and they ended up getting a black eye. Uh, no, that was monstering. 
Oh, was that monstering? That was, yeah, we oh, were right okay. at the front lines monstering. Right. Um, so. so we need to find you a rod or a wand. I'm yeah, sure, something. I'm sure one of us will have I'm something. sure asked, we can scrungle um, you up one. Yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll ask around on field and, yeah, you know, maybe I'll find something. Yeah. Scrungle. Um, scrungle. I like, scrungle. That's a good word. Yeah. Just scrungle something up. I have like scrumple your face. You don't scrumple your face. What a ludicrous thing you to say. Scrumpled face is a thing. Crumpled. I've read that. I don't think a scrungled is a word. But... It's not. I, it's. It's. Oh, okay. uh, I've invented it for. It means to find a LARP weapon for your friend. Yeah. Oh. We couldn't. <laughs> I understood it out of context and just took it as a real. We shall word. scrungle you a, a weapon. Yes. Um, sick then. So you're bat major. Yep. Uh, maybe I don't have any like mage armor either. So that's. So we need to not only scrungle you a uh, an oh, implement. Well. We need to scramble you some. Kit as well. Scrumple and scramble. Scrumple yeah. and scramble. So, like, Excellent. scrumple is it if it's a weapon? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Scrumple, and if, scrumple it's like is if it's kit. Or armor. Yeah. 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 Um, I feel um, like we can probably find you. What you want, I guess, is just like a hero belt that's pretty. Yeah. A headband that's pretty. And then like some greens. And some or band something. braces that are pretty. Yeah. And you're good to go. Yeah, maybe. Well, we'll have a look around. Yeah. Um, if anyone wants to dress. <laughs> Anyone wants to uh, dress uh, Kerry for the weekend? Yeah. <laughs> There's a place, uh, I think it's in Urzin. Oh, yeah. This, um, like, this person's tent literally just has, like, a load of kits. Some really, really, Is it really... Agathon's armory? Maybe. There's some really, really, really pretty green chain mail that I want so badly. But you literally go, just borrow what you need, and then return it at the end of the weekend. That's Agathon. Serious, like, though. Agathon's yeah, armory. like, free yeah. of charge. Just just take what you need, oh, look after really it, nice and bring it back. The guys that want... Scrangle what you can. Yep, exactly. Yep. Scramble and scrangle. Well, then there you go. I shall do my scrambling, scrambling there. <laughs> <laughs> it's as you're heading to um, the Regio. It's like just yeah. a little bit further down. The guy who played who, the guy who plays Agathon used to be in Dawn. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, cool. yeah. I don't know if they'll have mage armor, but uh, there might say. be something. I will not poke just... around, and at worst case scenario, maybe I don't take the battlefield this summer, um, and just maybe discuss it in character. Do some in character um, training, as it were. Hell like yeah. some uh, one, I know someone who sort of leads the the army in Varushka. Hell um, yeah, yeah. And they were like, "Yeah, I'll talk you through it in character." I'm like, "Well, at the very least, I will go on a little mission to find out more about the world of um, being a vigilance goose, healing people on the battlefield." <laughs> Um, Everyone has to be honked at. Viciously. Yeah, well, yeah, I got chat oh, GPT to, to write a... me some goosey uh, healing phrases. <laughs> we need to get you a goose staff. Oh my can you gosh. imagine oh. with like a stab safe goose at the top and you can whack people and say honk? Just yes. bonk them on the head with it. Go honk. Yeah, because I have. Honk. Imagine being paralyzed by a goose. Oh my God. <laughs> like, <laughs> build in one of those, you know, the squeezy chickens. It's like, yes. Yeah. That's oh. not yes. what they sound like. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, one of those things. They, um, yeah. Like, literally, like the goose from Untitled Goose Game. You're just going to yeah. whack the. Yes, perfect. We have yeah. to. So do. just, I'll scramble something this week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then save up my pocket money yeah. for a proper goose stuff. Oh, that'd be so good. That would be really cool. No, I love that. Battlefield's yeah. great. And then, yeah. statistically, you'd think that at least. Like at least two of us will fight on the battlefield. Yeah, I'm probably, yeah, yeah, exactly. If we have so. like, because we've currently got Navarre League and Dawn, so usually well, yeah, cause Navarre and Dawn probably aren't going to fight together. No, two huge the last nations. time I fight, I think the last time we fought with Navarre was like 2022. Oh wow! I think I can't remember fighting with them since. Yeah. So I mean, did we? Chloe's giving me a lot. Oh, no, of course we fought together because you had that uh, battle where you didn't do anything. You were, like, what? guarding a regio and nothing Ooh, happened. The, oh, oh, yeah, that's the right. The that was, mm. was that E4 last year? Hang on, we all fought together because that's yeah. when we had a competition. Oh, you were fighting with Dawn, so, of course. Yeah, yeah. With the, I think there was E4 last year. Because yeah, it was, was it, yeah. well, Because it was kind of good that we actually, as Dreadshields, didn't really do anything because it was as I was recovering from my operation. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are Dawn missing our loud, obnoxious singing during your battle preparation? Oh, we yes. do that enough ourselves. It's all right. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> um, I'm always like, whenever muster's happening, I'm always like in my tent being like, it is quarter past ten. I'm, I'll be fine. <laughs> well, I am trying to not do as many skirmishes this event because I have a test of metal to pass. About that bloody exciting. time. My, yeah, goal, my goal is to pass this goddamn test this weekend. And if you don't? Uh, if I don't, I'll cry. Because what I'm... do you have to do this weekend for it? So I have got, it's really funny, I have seven challenges. I'm hoping to do three of them in one event. Um, How many have you, have you succeeded on four? Then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. So one, I have to, I'm having a scrap with someone. <gasps> Ooh. I have to do it cunningly. Is it Captain Charge? Maybe. 
Um, then I have to complete a challenge that started last summit with some letters that I found hidden over Anvil. And then there's a, another one that I am receiving, like, mm -hmm. next event. So hopefully it will get done, because I want to be noble by the Glory Gala, because I've made some lovely kit for the Glory Gala, and I better be able to wear it, otherwise uh, I'll be great. Yeah. So. Would it go into the pick, uh, kit pile of shame, then never to be worn if you don't get it now? No, I'll just wear Solid. it. I'll just wear it when I'm noble, but I'm just like, I've made it, I want to wear it. Oh, um, I'm very happy with it, I'm very excited. Um, and then I th I've got a few things kind of planned. Like there's um, a few, apparently uh, Ossagaran's coming to Anvil to say thank you to the people who saved his boggarts. And he's also kind of upset with Navarre because they didn't save his boggarts. Oh no. Um, and then um, I'm helping someone with a test of metal, uh, which should be fun. And then I've got a few people to kind of see and things out. But my timetable is being kept empty so I can get my damn test done. Yeah. Nice. I'm thinking of finally visiting the Hall of Worlds as I've been a mage for a while now. Um, get in there. Operate that hall. Uh, yeah, I was I was thinking about how I would open it. I was like, do I do something really subtle or do I go on the Friday night after I've had a couple of drinks and I've got some, you know, gumption in me and proper flap my wings and stomp my feet and Hell honk at yes. it. Yes. <laughs> Have you got wings now? No, oh. just pretending. Oh, I, though get... I was thinking I should get like two white fans and flap yes. them. Like yes, yes. My friend has got a bit where they go to enter the whole of the world and then hit force and look confused and go oh, and they cast oh. off Ray Paul and then go in. <laughs> in fact, I needed to. Um, I was going to ask you about that because um, I was asking someone else and they weren't entirely sure. But you know, you ha you only have to use the mana to o open the portal once per summit. Correct. But do you still have to do a bit of role play? You have to play? do the role play to open it, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so every time you go, so if I decide that my opening the portal is going to be stamping my feet and honking. You, I, <laughs> I, I, I feel like you could flavour it as like the first time you do it has to be dramatic and every other time you just kind of wave your uh, yeah. hand as you go through. Just um, flap my wings a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay. I very much think I would be quite subtle with it. So just be like, Yeah, I think most people are. Um, so I don't know. It depends on whether I feel like I want to make you need a meal out really of it. Loud. You need to get a bird caller for a goose and just stand there going, really Yeah, because honestly, honking, in. just like like honk is a yeah. bit um, it's a bit rubbish, really. Yeah. I need a better system for this. Squeezy chicken. Yeah. For what? So anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but just going honk, honk, honk is just, yeah. you know. I mean, you I'm a silly get, goose, but I want to be more You need to get the second breakfast goose. goose bird caller that they use for the, yes. the giant goose. I'll have to ask them where they get that from. Hell yeah. Mm. Um, Presumably Amazon or something. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah. But yeah, very excited for a weekend. I'm really excited for the Glory Gala because they've got loads of dancers scheduled. They've got some performers. They've got a dance caller. I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, and then that's kind of, kind of it. Oh, and also I'm going to a performance at Hens hey, at 11 o'clock on Friday. Oh, I'm going to be there on Friday. Hey, hey, unless I'm honking at the yeah, 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 you're doing the, your sentinel honk. Yeah, that sounds like if I'm going to get drunk and then do it later in the evening when there's hopefully less people there, that <laughs> might be that time. Uh. No, because um, Sol, Pickle and a bunch of other people are doing a performance singing a song about when we saved all the boggarts. Oh, yeah, no, I want to see that. Yeah. Will you be buying a reasonably priced drink from the Bird Bath Bar? The Bird Bath Bar? The Bird Bath I've not bath. heard of the Bird Bath Bar. Attached Tell me more. Theater. Oh, well, we are, we've adopted Hen since they've mm. left Varushka. Uh, hopefully they'll have a lot of good business uh, because they're off the main road. Yeah. So a lot of good business will be coming by. It's a win-win situation. James gets some staff. I finally fulfill my ambition of getting a roof. That'll be yeah. great. There's going to be some benches. A lot of jackdaws around to um, keep the area sort of populated. Yeah, we can have an <laughs> officer camp having his, uh, well, getting a drink, uh, having some seating. It's going to be very nice. Yeah, if you want to have a meeting, you can have it at the jackdaw camp. I know, what a treat. Is that open all weekend then? Uh, probably yeah, not probably. as much Sunday, but like it'll be just re- Oh, well, uh, yeah, but he'll drinks. be around, yeah. Oh, I'll check it I out. Have, we'll I have on. booze to donate. Because my house is full of alcohol that I don't want. So I'm Talk to there. James. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take some. <laughs> I, I put it out at every house party and it's never touched. Then I'm always like, I need a rid for like salted caramel vodka. Ooh, Ooh. delicious. Yes. Not vodka, well, vodka liqueur. So it's like really thick and goopy. I'm Ooh. like, don't want it. Don't it's alright well, I'll do that shot game that we used to do at the boar's head and we'll just offer up all your random alcohol bits um, as shots <laughs> yes absolutely because like, it's all like you know I'm hoping to give booze shots. in exchange for free drinks oh absolutely yeah, yeah. We, we can sort that for you excellent news well I could sell it for you and we can split the profit if you I, as long as I get 
I see alcohol out of this situation. I'm happy to give it to whoever. Otis has spied profit. <laughs> You're selling than... your meads again, aren't you? I'm sure I saw you advertise them on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be walking around shilling my wares. Mm. I'll probably be hitting the road with um, Grunfoss. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got a bacon Oh, is mead. he selling the lemon, ch- is it lemon cello or lemon vodka or something that he had last time? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but it was really nice. I know that he'll be selling his smutty nuts. Yeah, uh, as uh, As per usual. Uh, mink tails... Other knickknacks. I'm not sure exactly what, but um, oh. yeah, we'll be hitting the road in the uh, in between events. We went on an Empire booze cruise. Oh, nice! And basically, just went around every nation and got uh, absolutely sure. smashed. He got in a fight with a massive Valon husk that just turned out to be a tree. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll be this. walking around. I've got my bacon mead and my chocolate orange mead, which I'll be selling. Need to make up some money after. Someone spent all of our profits last event. Is that on pizza? This is such a theme. Eight thrones worth. I've probably spent maybe like three thrones last event. Uh, more like six. I've never spent three thrones in an event. In I don't life. think I've ever had three thrones. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most I've spent in an event is probably two, and that's yeah, including same. getting a sovereign specific. That was for a very expensive mm. ritual that yeah. I did. Oh, mm. well, trinkets, pie mash, pizza. Yeah. Cake economics is destroying the empire. Mm. <laughs> Eight rings a pint. Eight rings a pint. Not at hens. Yeah, hens. Reasonable prices, Morgan, and a good time. They sell non-booze at hens. Yeah. No, they give it out for free, in fact. I might be at hens. Um, Hydration for the nation. Hydration for the nation. Yeah, there's always, um, like, alcohol-free cordials there for just... Hey, do you think this counts as, like, advertising and IC business? This is fine. We're just talking about what we're doing. We're just chatting about it. Yeah, Yeah, it's fine. Uh, There also may be, I need to get this for certain, a Leonin. Leonin. Yeah. Pavilion at the Jack Doors camp. Oh, nice. At the bar. Other bars are available. <laughs> all, all we ask is you buy a couple of drinks for the use of the pavilion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you not icy promote? Oh. Um, I So you can put posters up. Um, yeah, because like advertising your icy business on your podcast maybe not great. I don't know. Meanwhile, buy the Jolly Jack Doors. Buy my maid. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Give me money. Because... I mean, there's a promotion page on Facebook. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, we're it not was mostly a lighthearted comment. We're just chatting comment. about yeah. what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah, it was mostly yeah. a lighthearted comment, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, other than that, just cruise around. Uh, Yana and the Thorns Rest, Grinfoss and the rest of them are having, we've been invited for dinner on the Friday. Lovely. Yeah, I think they're doing another bunch of uh, scrumptious snacks. I was hoping selling. they were going to be selling some savoury foods again because yeah. there was really good stuff. And I'm, that's my IC dinner plans Ooh. for Friday night. I'm like, I'm going to pop away, have my half an hour break from working at Hens and yeah. come and get some food. No, they've got a great setup there and a great spot as well. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Cool um, yeah, they do awesome food. And there's a few more Thorns Restians. I don't know what the collective group name is that they've got. The Gaggle. There. The Gaggles. No. Oh, that's yours. A rope Thank you. <laughs> Even though um, I'm in the only goose. A, a bush. <laughs> a bramble patch. What was Jesus' crown called? A crown. Thorn. A crown of thorns. Yeah. Didn't it have a name? No. Wasn't it just a crown of thorns? That would be heresy anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, the, no, the, the Thornians. The Thornian Restians are. <laughs> Uh, please bob it in the comments, Anna or Steve. The plural for a thorn's The plural rest. of a thorn's rest. T- the fresh tiara. A bramble's well, rest, I think. Yeah. That'll, oh, that's quite nice. Bramble's rest. The little pricks. <laughs> the, the little, little pricks. The little pricks will yeah, be having dinner so with us. I think they'll yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the little pricks. On Friday night, which would be lovely. Um, other than that, we've just got a really planned event. Chill. Uh, a very chilled plan. Fuck. <laughs> we've got a very chilled, got a very chilled event planned. You can speak for yourself. I know, that was very hard to say. Uh, <laughs> I do, I do. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> um, what about busy, then? Neve? You're going to be busy, aren't you? I have got many a plans, and I, I don't think I've got the energy to do them all. Um, Chloe has begun meeting the law. <gasps> no! Whoa. What a treat! Wah, wah. What, what, no. ta- what time of day is your favourite meeting uh, spot? What? What time of day do you prefer <laughs> to have your meetings? Preferably after 10 p.m. once I've had a good couple of drinks. Good yeah. Time. Yeah. That, oh, did we wash my kettle? Did I wash my kettle? <gasps> You've need, got time. I need to wash my kettle tomorrow. Kettle of ale. Kettle of ale. <laughs> <laughs> kettle of ale mentioned. You could never fail <laughs> drink. with a kettle of ale. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, Chloe. Can you cover up? Fine. Chloe's busy. I'm busy. Doing what? 
Um, tell me more, tell me more. To be honest, I actually She's don't really know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. I don't know who I am. I don't know why I'm here. All I know is I've got, I've I've got, got a lot of shit to do. <laughs> well, didn't you say you were going to write an agenda? Would it just be stuff to do, stuff to do? <laughs> Two o'clock, I'm stuff to do. I'm supposed to be somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. right now. <laughs> Neve, can you talk? No, I need to be somewhere. Where are you going? Not I a don't fucking go. clue. Not I'm, 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 I'm hoping someone stops me and says Neve, and I can be like, excellent, this is where I'm supposed to be. You know that happened so many times last event. Like, it was fucking wild for my little brain. Like, I would just be walking somewhere on a path and someone in the bar would just be like, oh, Neve. And I'm like, oh, fuck, important shit. <laughs> or, like, talk to me about something. Or, like, oh, oh, hey, we're thinking about doing this between, like, with you guys or, like, during downtime. And they were like, like, uh, the people from Embercast were like, oh, we've got an idea. And, like, they were explaining what their idea was, but I had no idea what they were talking about. So I just bullshit my way through it. Like, oh, yeah, well, I think we've got plans for this downtime and stuff. But, yeah, maybe next time. I had no idea what they were asking me. Mm. I just did not know. Fake it until you make it, folks. That's what that's I mean, what... apparently I've made it, but... You don't learn about the lore of Empire without getting some context, and you've just got to expose yourself to all of it, I suppose, just first. No like, clue. I mean, if I sit there and try and read the wiki, it goes over my head. Oh. Unless I know some context already, I'm like very much of like a learn in, in character and in play. Bless you. Bless you. Kind I've... of person. I can't just sit there and read it all and soak it all up. I've never once tried to read the wiki and i never will i've read part of it once for about 10 minutes trying to pick certain rooms for something but that's mm. about it i mean yeah. we've discussed before how sometimes the wiki can be a little bit inaccessible um, i can't read because i'm dyslexic yeah. um i'm like I, I read i've read i've read quite a bit of the wiki yeah. oh <laughs> morgan reads. what a surprise but there are some people that <laughs> there are some people that have read like so much but like I'm like hey I, how do you know about this thing it's like oh it's on this lost page that's linked to nowhere <laughs> here it is I'm like yeah. how where was this you i think guys, the search just, feature's a bit yeah. fucked up as well yeah, it's, a bit buggy. it's just you, a lot yeah you guys might yeah. have noticed i have an attention deficit problem as well mm. And I fall asleep quite quickly when reading. I can read for 10 minutes, then I get dozy. No, I feel like sometimes I have to read something about 10 times before it makes any sense to me. Like that story that was in my player pack, um, I read. I must have read it like five or six times, but it didn't really soak in. I was like, I don't know who the character they're talking about. Like, clear, They're clearly inferring that it's somebody important or somebody... I don't think so. But That's if I get another one, I'll um, I'll share it with you and you can I probably love that. diagnose I love that it a bit for as me. As a Stenzi, you were getting stories. That's so cool. That's yeah. a cool little... Yeah, little it's thing. really cool. I really wish... I need to learn more about, you know, the, the law so that I can access it a bit more because without context, for, you yeah. know, it's I really, hard to take it in. I really enjoyed... Um, well, enjoyed. It was Thursday night and I saw a guy who plays uh, an NPC that was, I was pretty sure I was going to be interacting with that weekend. I was like, oh, was I supposed to get a letter in my player pack? I haven't received anything. And he just turned to me and went, what? What do you mean? I was like, was I supposed to? He was like, yes, you were. Have you not received it? I'm like, no. He was like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> and then got, knew then. <laughs> he then got out his phone and was like, here it is. Um, but then, like, basically, they just hadn't printed the letters off. So I went back the next day to get it. Yeah. But it was just oh, very okay. funny. He'd be like, here's my phone. <laughs> here's the letter you received. It's a magical light device that made yeah, 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 yeah. tablet. Um, but yeah, it was Thursday before time in, so it was fine. Um, but yeah, because that was my letter to go see Barry um, beyond the gate. Um, mm-hmm. Interesting so far. So for me, I was thinking of skirmishes this weekend. There's not loads I'm super interested in. Um, the wins that have come out, there are a couple of wins that are quite interesting. So oh, yeah. the Semalak nonsense. Oh, yeah. There's, one um, there's some ideas for that. Um, yeah. Although I like one of the options is drain the Semalak. No. Because they're like, oh, there's this freaky lady of the lake at the bottom. Just get rid of the pond. Yeah, uh, that that will get rid of her. Yeah. yeah, there's a bunch of other solutions, but I thought it was quite funny. Do they they think like she's a shark. <laughs> well, she's at the bottom of a lake, so you know. Yeah, but she might like drain the lake. She'll just come and get, get angry. Get rid of the lake. She's done. Does she need the lake to survive, or is she? Is that well, her? presumably she's in the lake, so. Maybe. Yeah, but so are crocodiles. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like if you drained <laughs> a you. swamp with crocodiles, they'd suffer. Yeah, oh, they'd they probably they, take it out on you. They get chapped lips, maybe, but they're not going to die. I, I think, think you just piss would. her off. I think a crocodile would die if you got rid of its swamp. Well, that's, I'm, I'm if you destroyed a... its entire habitat. Yeah. yeah. yeah but, but wouldn't it go out with all guns blazing? Maybe. Especially if it had the consciousness maybe, of... Maybe, but they're not very like... lethal on ground. They're more lethal underwater. Oh, they can be fast? Yeah. yeah. But again, we're not debating a crocodile, I guess. Are we? We're talking about a 
supernatural being. To be fair, the lady of the lake does kill yeah. people by dragging them in the water. So I that suppose if you take the water, you're taking away and her main weapon. And then she gets them in the jaw and she spins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it our prelates become officially derailed? Is do- no, is it, we're on topic. This we're is on topic. Yeah. This is on, just because you floor. weren't paying attention, John. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just because you don't know what the seminar Sorry, is. I was, I was thinking about letting the boars out. Oh, God. <laughs> But yeah, no, that's interesting, and there's some just, there's some fun Samalak stuff there. So um, yeah, I might actually read that one. Dulac is all like we are water yeah. Samalak, um, what they called sovereign ship. So like that's yeah. fun. Um, and then also, Cold Sun's dead. Hey, well not Cold Sun, but all of its armies are gone from the Empire. There's yeah. a few little rap scallions knocking around that need clearing up, but otherwise. Cold Sun's done. So, nice. monstering wise, ne- oh, sorry. Who, sorry who I never is? saw Cold Sun once. Yes. I feel like a hero. You're not. I know. <laughs> no one offered to pay me. <laughs> you know, monstering wise, who do you think is the most likely forces oh. this weekend? You think Drew? My, I don't think it'll be Jotun. Morgan's so disappointed at that. I think it's going to be Grendel and Drew. Um, I don't know who will be fighting or what. God, I'd love to fight as Druge. Because if to you... get get some of my like Dornish kit, cover yeah. it in blood and wear that as like mm. my scraps of stuff mm. I've looted from people would be amazing. If you're Druge, does that mean you don't have to wear like an orc mask as much? Because I know like is it Jotun you everyone has to wear? No, Jotun have have Yagara. Yeah, but now don't COVID... they usually No, so want everyone to now wear them now it's not COVID. Um, yeah. everyone should be wearing masks that can. Yeah. So the Yagara were basically put in place as like a, hey, not everyone's going to wear you, masks. Is that for every army? Yeah, yeah. every oh, orc okay. mostly should be orcs. The Yagara were invented for the Jotun because it was just like, hey, here we go, some mask free fighters. Now, mo- yeah. if you can wear a mask, you should be. Um, and they give out masks. They give out masks, yeah. yeah. Um, Druge are like the least likely to have humans. I think they have some slaves knocking about, but the Jotun have the Yagara. Uh, the Grendel have some, but it tends to be EMU. So we had an EMU, which was Asavayans. Yeah. Event just gone. And so, they were. Are the Druze orcs then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't. They're all. They're all, all the barbarians are orcs. Did you not listen to our barbarian series last year, Kerry? That was a whole year ago. Four Goodness great gracious. episodes and the four Listen, main barbarian. Do, think, do I don't some even homework. What I had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Druze are the. Um, it's also funny because like uh, like. I feel like every nation's got their barbarians that they hate. And Dawn is the Druze. I'm like, how do you not know about the Druze? Oh, so that was a bit of Tristan coming out. Yeah, Tristan was coming out. It's like, Skin. they are... It's all right. Radkin knows all about the Druze. Anyway, Radkin's the vigilance priest. Druze are like... <laughs> Druge, I feel like Druze are like the objective bad guys. Yeah. Like the, the Jotun are honorable and just fighty. The Grendel are like mercantile they, and aren't just evil. I know I a little like bit about evil. the sort of like group personalities of the monsters, but because I've never been fighting on the sure, field, yeah. you know, I don't really think about what they look like. So the four barbarian nations the Thule, the Druze, the Grendel, and the Yoan are yeah. all orc nations. Okay. Um, but they have smatterings of humans, be they yeah. thralls, slaves. Um, oh, that's what I was thinking before when you said the Thule. I was thinking thralls. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, the Thule are like the magic orcs, but we've yeah. been friends with the magic orcs of Otkudov for a really <laughs> long time. We've been friends with the magic orcs of Otkudov. Have you ever felt more like we've, a nerd? <laughs> we've been friends with the magic orcs of Otkudov who follow the dragons into battle. For quite some time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all clicking into place yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we've been friends with the Thor for ages. And I yeah. feel like someone said to me, it's like, we prob- we basically can't fight them anymore. Yeah. Because they because we've not been fighting, they've just been spending all their time building up their defences. Mm. So now it's like, cool, I guess we're just going to leave that bit of the map. Let's blue. just stay friends. Yeah. yeah. They, were, they were at the uh, Emperor's inauguration. No, they kind of know what the word is. Coronation? Oh, yeah, but all of the groups were, even the Grendel Orcs, like, came and stuff. Oh, like, yeah, all of them got... had, like, I only, I just remember seeing the Grendel Orc because yeah. of where I was, I couldn't see a lot, but I just walked in with such swagger. I yeah. still <laughs> don't understand why there was a Grendel there. There was, like, a representative from each of the nations. The Jotun, the too? Um, no, I don't, I don't think there were Jotun and Druze. I thought it was just Grendel and I, Thor. I, say, I definitely remember the Grendel. Yeah, because I can't see the oh, Druze had yeah. the delegate. Uh, if I think of the Druze had a delegate, they just get shivved. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, probably. The Jotun maybe would be allowed a passage because Jotun are on a battle. Yeah, kind of we're fighters, like friends. They, so... with the, we're not friends with the Jotun, but we're also not like. I feel on... like most people aren't like vehemently hating the Jotun. I think they're like yeah. frenemies. Yeah, but people yeah. were booing when 
when some of the delegates came on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? Oh, the Grendel like, got booed. Yeah, I'm not surprised yeah. about the Grendel. But, like, I feel like the Druze, literally, it wouldn't matter if people were like, this is an official delegation of the Druze. Don't get, someone would kill the Druze. Yeah. Because it's the Druze. Yeah. Well, it might not have been. I just remember the Grendel were definitely there. Do you know what my favourite thing I've ever looted from a Druze was? Yeah. A live scorpion. Oh, not. Well, a yeah. live not scorpion. Not great. Got bitten. Stung, rather. Wait, sorry, sorry. Live is in I'm OC guessing a lot live. safe. No, I see live. Thank God. It was really funny. I was, I was like, looting what? someone. What do you they, mean? I was looking someone. I was like, oh, just to check. You're looting me, aren't you? And I went, yeah. And they handed me a slip of paper and a, a, a scorpion. And uh, the, the slip of paper said traumatic wound. I was like, for fuck's sake. So you got poisoned? I got stung. And then I didn't get this one, but there was some pretty horrendous traumatic wounds. I won't go into detail because Chloe's here. Um, but related to arachnids at no, that play event. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's just, it's not... Arachnids, it's just spiders, like scorpions, ants, beetles, whatever. I'm fine with. It's literally just. It's just fucking spiders. So, in which case, our halogen is also centipedes and scorpions. So, just ignore the spid bit, and it's fine. Oh, speaking of spiders, Anna, Yana, is. We'll get off the subject quickly. You knew what I was gonna. Yeah, I told them to show Chloe them. Um. (laughs) Yana's got some really cute little crochet. plush crochet. They are um, cute. Little spooders, like little tarantulas. Spooders. I don't know if they're selling them. Sold but... out. Oh, they're sold oh. out. But... <laughs> Chloe's like, thank God. <laughs> I was like, don't show these to Chloe in, in person. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. So it feels like apart from Chloe, most of us have got a pretty lightly packed weekend. Uh, yeah. You were having a hot murk summer. Hot muck summer. I do need to find contracts the next season. Oh, always, and money's getting even drier. Always be grinding. Always been grinding. Or getting Modesto to grind anyway. Gustavos, Modesto and Pike, go make me money whilst I'm at wine club. Uh, <laughs> cementing negotiations. So apart from apart from Chloe, we're all having a nice weekend off. Yeah. I've yeah. honestly got so much planned. I've got meetings, parties. Oh. I know. Oh, I know. Oh. It's, it's a wild, wild weekend. Mm. But I we've think... Got yeah, sorry. No, I was going to say, we've just had a lot of Judge Hill birthdays in between E2 yeah. and 3, so we're going to have like a little birthday little bash, sort of little shindiggy type thing. Possibly the Jackdaw party, but yeah, we've got meetings or like the military council, captain council, all this type oh, of yeah. stuff. I've um, thought about getting a tiny stool to take to your meetings now you go to that mini. I might just hire a proxy. Yeah. Are you just going to sit on the proxy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, just send to the meetings. So I, oh. <laughs> I don't know what the proxy is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Chloe, the power... <laughs> what a power move. <laughs> it's fun we're in the same headspace. Just sit on... Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean? I, I wonder how it would go if you hired an orc for the weekend just to sit on them during the meetings. Ooh. And, Ooh. And, Ooh. An orc would not allow itself to be hired. God. Maybe a Grendel. Could you imagine attending no, a meeting in the Imperial Orc camp? Oh, and just sitting God. on the back of... That would go well, I feel. I think you wouldn't get out of there alive. No. I am. Um... Oh, also, very exciting. Uh, we've got a, a business operating out of our tent this weekend. Um, we've got Red Bear's Forge and Grill um, is operating out of That's the cool. Dulac camp, which is very exciting. Lovely. Yeah, so um, you guys need to come get food. because yeah. I will reserve. They have please. vegetarian options. I think so. Come on, you know. I'll have a look. I think. I'll, I'll, I'll poke yeah. my and have a look. Right, wander over, wander over to the lack. Red Bear's lovely. Yeah. Uh, we, I also might be um, in Grace's bid to be the custodian of the kennels since the sausage thing didn't work out. Um, we might be performing a, a dog-based puppet show, which obviously won't be full of innuendos because that would be extra weird. Yeah. Um, so it's just going to be like like dad jokes, like Incredible. kind of thing. Um, but we need to write it um, <laughs> on Friday. <laughs> So <laughs> that might happen. We love some improv. We were meant to write it when she came last week, but we played Baldur's Gate instead. <laughs> oh, I've got a little <laughs> werewolf finger puppet if you want to use that. Yeah, maybe. We've, yeah. we've got a few dog puppets nice. already. But yeah. uh, as you do. It's going to be the, the jackdaws or the dog so, dogs. So once again, we've got this man going to a wine club. We've got you doing a little puppet show. Yeah. We've got uh, Otis selling, selling mead. mead and potentially some vanilla vodka. Ooh. Vanilla vodka, caramel vodka. And a kettle of ale. Um, that's not getting sold <laughs> I, I, I guess I am I, I am to an extent on that grind trying to get my test metal done but yep. it feels like Neve's got a business weekend yeah wonderful there's no pleasure wonderful Morgan um, before we end why do you have a little wolf finger puppet <laughs> well he gets lonely at night yeah, <laughs> it's why do I have friend. a werewolf finger puppet yeah. yeah well you never know when you're going to need a werewolf finger puppet you know 
It'll huff and puff and blow something Sorry, down. Alex, do you not have a <laughs> what? finger puppet? All right, so Tom took that in a direction that none of us were expecting. I think that's an excellent note to end on. Uh, I think we yeah. probably should end it. He's, he's needed his... Do not counter. lend Tom your werewolf <laughs> finger puppet. <laughs> <laughs> that werewolf puppet is staying firmly in my house now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Uh, thanks everyone for listening. We will see you in a field very soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.